Welcome back. Time to keep my promise of using that hatchet on everything. There was no reason to chop down a perfectly good tree. Sure there was. Wood. And a bridge, maybe. Can I use this hatchet on a squirrel? That's what really matters. Everybody knows that. Perhaps I can use it on the frog. Wouldn't that be fantastic? I hope this mic isn't fucking up, that would suck. But if it is, then that means I can't record anything else, because it's not reliable. Well, time to cut down this fucking tree. Getting out my axe. Oh, well, got a hit button. Oh, there's a tree bridge if ever I saw one. Thank god it doesn't need like oh. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Oh, puns. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't know, like the timbre of my voice? Oh, the puns. Oh, the, p the puns. Oh, the glorious puns. Eh. Oh, the glorious puns. Punch, yes. Mr. Potter. Fifty points for Griffin. Oh, that guy's dead and it's sad. I mean, the guy who played Snape in Harry Potter. I like this music. It's very nice, very pleasant. For a very pretty game, it has very pretty. It actually reminds me a lot of Fable. I love Fable. I fucking love Fable! Anybody who watches, um, Cat Icarus knows that's a reference to him, kind of. Because, um, also, the door is locked, so I'm not going to bother with it. Actually, it has claw marks on it, so you can see it right there. You can see, see? Pointing at it. Yeah. Hip. But, like, yeah, Cat Icarus often says, like, I fucking love random thing here. person in Daventry, not at the parade. So, I mean he doesn't say random thing here, he says something, but I don't know what. I need a wheel. Like a blacksmith shop of swords. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect. I'm gonna... I know there are other things in the other shops. Actually, I kinda wanna see what's in the, the um, uh, uh, like, magic shop or whatever. Because the right way to do this is to put a coin in the tip section, when you get the wheel thing for the, the Tom Kenny character. Uh... I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity. I never saw what type of... is this... Oh, it's a table that you could take. And you'd have to put the tips. I'm gonna get the shield. Because, yeah, the right way to do this is to put a coin in the tip jar, or tip tray thing, and then... Uh... Had I not watched this through I, before playing this, I wouldn't have known that. So I'm going to take the shield. Game Grumps took a uh, solid piece of bread from the bakery. Put in a coin. Yay. Now I need to go back to Tom Kenny guy. Open the door. Open the door. Up to the door. Hey, 
And go back to the Tom Kenny character. Whoa. Oh, Kurt Shurkin. Ah. ah. He said it for me. This way, yeah. Tom Kenny also voiced the character on um, Tosh po or Daniel Tosh's um, show, Brickleberry. It's not exclusively his, but he's a character in it. And really have to no, whatever. Hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again. Oh, no, I guess not. But like, um, yeah, he played the character Woody on the much more adult cartoon, much more than SpongeBob. No, I'm not. Did you eat my retainer again? Okay, okay. Have a God damn it. Take. Oh yeah, I just need to do this. Get that blade away from my unicorns. I'm warning you. I was doing the wrong thing. Hey. Hey, hey, stop it. Those unicorns may look cute and cuddly, but they are ferocious fighters when provoked. Because I like what happens. You do that one more time and I won't be able to quell Mr. Fancy Cake's vehement temper. I don't believe you. Hey. Oh. <laughs> How did his cake taste, Mr. Fancy Cakes? He ate me. And I got trophy for that. Yay! Unicorn snack food. I didn't know I got trophy for that. Do I really have to oh, yeah. Just shut up. You <sighs> I guess I'm sorry about that, but it's a funny and I got a trophy. I didn't even know I got a trophy for it. I just did it. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should oh. do the trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. This might do the trick. A shield, eh? No, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. <laughs> Makes quite the bold statement. Mm hmm Just like my shorts. This is perfect. I hope you don't pay too much for it. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? I know it's not. I know no, that's thanks. not what it is. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. The price still seems really high to me. Okay, okay, you're twisting my turban here. I didn't pay you for such a deal, Deliberator. Final offer, half off the previously discounted rate. Come on, treat yourself, boy. Well, what is the actual price? Well, what do you know? It costs exactly that much. Thank you. Oh, Fortune God damn it. Fate, you, my boy. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this metal land, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Well, it did the ding thing, but god damn it. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Oh, Abyss! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Do the laugh. Apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name the list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You need to worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. 
Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. <laughs> I love these guards. Also, they remind me of the guards from Fable. Well, because they're humorous and weird. But also because this guard, the one that wasn't talking about the time, was also is also one of the voices of a guard from one of the Fable games. I think the first one, but I don't really know. Well, voice of some of the guards. A lot of the guards. In Fable 1, I think. Maybe 2 or 3, but I don't fucking know. Distress. Come at me, bees. No, that didn't. No, that didn't do anything. Let us distress. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. That's the point. Did you say anything? No. <laughs> oh, I love it. Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Death Drags! Let's see. Where did that beehive land? Oh, well, they're repeating. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love these guards so much. I, ju I just love this game. It's awesome. The art and everything. The characters are awesome. The guards are amazing. The voices are hilarious. Hello. If I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Nope, didn't want to do that. Another horn and another missing piece. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> your hero is thinking. Hmm. That seems like a dickish thing. No, not that. Uh. I wasn't no. going to toot that horn anymore <coughs> until I found the missing piece. You look like a little man who wants to do big things. All right. Uh, this. with the axe. He looks impatient. He's a little fella. to that nice little bridge that's there. At least this worked out, I guess. Do the rock. Do the log. Me. God damn it. Shiny bastard. He's posing. After being a dick. Eh. 
All right, well, the end of all, well, uh, we'll go through the rest of the things in the next part. So, yeah, bye.